so uh, it's two in the morning, which obviously is the best time of day to clean out a Gambian cage. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? Um, and so I thought I might brave it and uh, film the absolute carnage and state that these animals make in two nights so this cage was not cleaned last night so there's food everywhere because that would usually be hoovered out all of that that they've tipped all over the top there but i really want to film and show you the state of a gambian nest you have to see where they sleep all day they hate it when you strip out their nest they really hate when you take away all their junk. Um, they spend ages building it out of boxes and that. But this this is just grim. They're not the cleanest of animals. They really like to store food until it goes mouldy. But yeah, that's the tidy bit up there where they don't really go. So check this out. <laughs> How grim is that? <laughs> There's a bit of manky cucumber there. These bowls are from the top level. Um, they've totally uh, made a mess it's all right Tanji's decided to come down which is fine but I could do with Gus staying up there right um <laughs> you can't guard it it's coming out Tanji so uh yeah we got a nice old cottage cheese tub Um, some manky bits of fleece and muslin cloth. Oh my life! Monkey nuts, cat litter. Oh, Tanji, what on earth is how have you even look at it? What is that? It's a walnut. Ew. Um, that looks like carpet, like a nice pile of carpet back there. <laughs> so yeah, it's all got to come out and they have to start again. With some, the carpet tiles that they have have to be replaced pretty regularly. Um, they'll leave them alone for a while and then they'll just completely trash them. Yeah. They're like little hobos. I don't know what that... Oh, look at that. That is a... Um, mango stone. Which some people think they can't have, but it honestly doesn't hurt them. Mango skin and stone is fine. I've, uh, I've never experienced any problems with pouches having those things. Uh, perhaps somebody in the past has had a problem with um, fancy rats having mango. Obviously, male fancy rats aren't supposed to eat mango at all. So it's understandable that it could be harmful. There's not as much like manky food in here that I thought there was going to be more like food stored. But yeah, a couple of days and a couple of boxes and that's what you get. Gus is panicking about what's happening to his nest. But you know, 
they can just um, make it again and then you know it's fun all over again <laughs> Tanji I think she needs to come out in the playpen for a bit okay you want to come for a run around while I clean this hovel <laughs>